Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, we're going to talk about turning a Microsoft Access backend database into a makeshift database server. What does that mean? Well, I'll explain it in a few minutes. Today's question comes from Taylor in Shawnee, Kansas, one of my Platinum members. Taylor says, in your Cache Locally video, you showed us how to download a complete set of data from the back end database, like all customers from Florida. However, our local workstation still has to pull all the records from the back end. Isn't there a way to make the back end database smarter so that it can figure out what we need and send us only that? Well, yes, Taylor, there is. Normally, this is the job of a database server, like SQL Server or Oracle or any of those big boy database servers, right? You send a request like, send me just the customers from Florida. The server churns through all the hundreds of thousands of records and sends you just a little bit of information that you asked. Well, with a little bit of work, we can do something similar with just Microsoft Access. All right, so as a recap of what we talked about in the Cache Locally video, if you got a Microsoft Access backend, you got a split database solution, right? Front end, back end. You got multiple workstations out here, or maybe just even you, right? And you've got a machine sitting with just a Microsoft Access backend database. Now, if you want to get a list of just your customer records from Florida, okay, and you say to the, you know, you say to the database, give me just the customers from Florida, and you've got 10,000 records, it has to pull down all 10,000 records to your local workstation, and then the query will figure out who's who. So for all intents and purposes, your backend access database is really nothing more than just a regular file sitting there on the network. It's not smart at all. It just says, here's the records, you figure it out, right? Now, if you have a database server like SQL Server, it is smart, right? It can take a request like that. It'll crunch through all those records on its side. It'll take all 10,000, 100,000, whatever records you got. It'll figure out, okay, here's the 25 customers that are from Florida, and it will send you just those. All right, it's a lot faster because only those 25 records have to go across the network. And that's one of the major benefits of a database server. Now, what we can do is we could run a process on your access back end. So access will actually be open and running and waiting for commands. It'll act like a makeshift database server. So it'll be sitting there looping, waiting for you to send it a command. You'll give it a command saying, give me all the customers from Florida. It can then run the query locally. Well, local to it on the remote server, right? The server runs the query, takes those 10,000 records, puts the 25 records in a temporary table, and then you just link to that temporary table. So now all the data that you want is in a much smaller table. And now your system only has to pull down those 25 records. Now, this isn't a perfect method, and there are some drawbacks, but it's a middle ground between having just a basic access split database setup versus upgrading to a full-fledged SQL server, which does take a lot of work. All right, benefits, overall less network traffic. The server is gonna handle the data processing, so there's less information sent over the wire to your computer. You'll get improved performance on large queries. All right, for the average every day, just give me a record or two. No, that's you're not going to see much of an improvement. But if you've got those large month-end reports that you run, big complex queries, reports with you know, a whole month's worth of data in it, this will definitely speed up your data access. And this could also offer you better security. Since all of the customer data, for example, is stored on the server, you don't have to give your users access to that whole customer table. You could, using this method, you could control what they can request. So, you know, your employee Joe can only request Joe's client's data. So this actually will improve the security of your setup because your people don't have to be linked directly to the order table or the customer table or whatever. The server can send them just the information they need. And of course, there are some drawbacks. Complexity, it's more difficult to set up than just a standard access split database solution, but it's not quite as difficult as a full upgrade to SQL Server. Is this as good as running an actual database server? No, absolutely not. 
If you have the time and the knowledge to upgrade your backend to SQL Server, it'll run much better. You'll get good performance. You'll get good security. This is kind of a middle ground. There are some concurrency limitations. A database server can handle requests from multiple users. The solution I'm going to show you only works for one request at a time. Now, can you have multiple users sending requests to the backend server to get data? Yes, you certainly can. It's a lot more complex, and I will be covering this in the extended cut for the members. But for the rest of us, I'm going to show you how to get it to work with just one user. Again, this is perfect for that you know month-end report solution, right, where you've got thousands and thousands of records that you have to pull down. If you want just last month's orders, you don't want to have to pull down all 10 years worth of your data. The server can just prepare what you need and put that in a table for you. And of course, a real server gives you benefits like, you know, advanced indexing, better caching, transactions, and actual user level security. So this is not a substitution for SQL Server by any means, but like I said, it's like a middle ground. All right, now this is how it's gonna work in a nutshell. You're gonna have two databases running. Well, your back end database will be called the server and it's gonna just sit there waiting for commands. It's gonna run on a loop looking for commands, okay? Your front end, yours or whoever's needs to do this, right? Your front end's gonna send the server a command, right? Give me the customers from Florida, right? It's gonna send this command here. And then this guy's gonna be waiting for it. When it gets it, it's gonna prepare the data that you need in a linked table, okay? So the server processes all that data on the back end. Then the front end just now has a link to that table and it pulls in just those records that it needs. And then the server is freed up for the next request. And then it's gonna sit there and loop and loop and loop and wait for more commands, all right? We'll click a button just like we did in the last video. Get the customers from New York. It'll send that query to the server. The server does that. And now the main menu, or the main menu, the front end database can now just access those records. Now, this is gonna be a high end developer level tutorial. Lots of VBA and lots of SQL. It's gonna be a couple of different parts. We're gonna go through, I'm gonna walk you through it step by step, setting it up. Uh, this may not be for everyone. You might not see a benefit to this, but if you're one of those people that you have a network based database solution with access and you don't wanna upgrade to SQL Server, but you've got some reports or some queries that take forever to run, this will definitely be a good solution for you. And even for the rest of you that think you might not need this, there's gonna be some cool VBA and SQL in it, so you might just wanna watch it just to learn something, because I am gonna throw some cool tricks in here that I've never done before in any of my videos, well, in any of my tech help videos. I cover some of this stuff in my lessons. But here's a list of all the stuff that you should know ahead of time, so go watch any of these videos if you don't know any of this stuff. First, go watch the cache locally. That was last Friday's video, okay? Know how to split your database. If you've never done VBA programming before, go watch Intro to VBA. We're gonna use a bunch of while loops and record sets and append queries. We're gonna use SQL append queries, but go watch this anyways. And of course, my SQL with access video. And this is just the, the, the basic list I can think of. There's lots of other stuff. We'll use if then statements and all that stuff too, so. Uh, if you don't, if you aren't familiar with any of this stuff, go watch this. You'll find links below that you can click on in the description below the video. These are all free videos. They're on my website. They're on my YouTube channel. Go watch those and come on back. All right, so now that we've got all the theory under our belt and we understand what we're going to be doing, tomorrow we're going to actually start building this database. Actually, two databases. So tune in tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel for part two, and we will start building the database server. So there's your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly.
Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.